cool. the, the dual slot low profile Arc Pro B50 uh, has an MSRP of 349 US dollars, a slight increase from the 299 they mentioned at Computex earlier this year, which Intel blames on a combination of memory pricing and tariff risks, which, uh, fair enough. To be completely honest, sounds actually fair. I don't, <laughs> uh, the, B5, the B50 features 16 XE2 cores, 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory bandwidth of 224 gigabytes per second, PCI 5.0, 8X interface, four mini display ports all at a TDP of just 70 watts, allowing it to be powered entirely by the PCIe slot, which is a feature in this case that will be cared about. Um, yeah, how much the rest of this do people care about? Um, Apparently so the B50 performed favorably next to the $400 NVIDIA RTX A1000 8 gig, uh, yep. which was an Ampere 2024 release. But it has double the memory, uh, which is yeah. pretty cool that, you know, Intel's not cheaping out on memory because that's apparently something we can't take for granted these days. Um, it's especially pretty cool right now, considering a lot of the applications that you're going to want to use GPUs for are actually very heavily um, memory bound. SRIOV is also a very cool feature to support. So essentially this allows it to be split up virtualization style like a CPU and shared across multiple VMs if you don't really need uh, you know, high-end 3D performance. Um, Serve the Home did some initial tests and it's apparently pretty flipping decent. Uh, also, nice. it could be the cheapest way to get AV1 encoding in a small form factor case because it's a dual slot, low profile. So Intel continues to do some super cool stuff on the GPU side. Just want to shout out that the B580 is a heck of a lot of gaming GPU for $260 in stock across multiple SKUs. This is two SKUs in stock, $260 and $270 on Newegg. Um, you, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. Get Battlefield 6 and more with purchase? What is that? Is that real? Before we before we dive into that, I just want to say this before I forget. John Doyrin from the lab just messaged me and said that the B580 can also game. It's not the best, but at 75 watts, it's actually not bad, which is really no, the, the, the B50, B50. B580 is Did the I say 580? Consumer. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, B50. Yeah. He said B50. I, I read it wrong. That's my point. Hold on. Is this deal real? Uh, I'm not sure what you're seeing. I, I'm on Newegg right now, and it says... It says you, you get Battlefield... Hold on. Hold on, where is it? Did, did, I, did I imagine it? Am I, am, I, am I crazy? This just says free, free 3D Mark test. Oh, it okay, says hold, additional hold. items, Intel Gamer Days Intel Gamer Days. Holy crap, Whoa. you get Battlefield 6 with an ARC? From August Whoa. 25th to September 14th. That's actually, what's the value of uh, a base version Battlefield 6? Like, what does that make the cost of the card if you were going to buy Battlefield 6? Redemption URL, Intel Gamer Days offer $70. Dude, is that like $120 B580, basically? That's crazy. That's actually nuts. Is that, is that, how, how much is Battlefield 6 in USD? Uh, it, it's, it's 70 US dollars, apparently. Uh, Whoa. And yet, in spite of us pointing out that you can get a heck of a lot of a GPU from someone other than Team Green, NVIDIA is, I think, at all-time high market share? Uh, did, that, did that come out this week? Yeah. Uh, here yeah. we go. Uh, this is from Tom's Hardware, uh, published three days ago. NVIDIA dominates GPU shipments with 94% share. 94% guys I get it okay the cool thing to do is to root for AMD and Intel to survive in the GPU space so that you can get a cheaper Nvidia card because they have competitors but if nobody buys these other products even when they are legitimately good like that B580 for flipping under $200 if you were going to buy Battlefield 6. That is a fucking insane value right now. Dude, it's close to $100 who cares? if you were going to buy Battlefield 6. Go buy a stupid 5060. Go be a sheep. Buy a 5060. Basically, if you're not getting the word out about there being other options, 
You have no one to blame but yourself when NVIDIA prices their cards like the actual monopoly that they are. 94% is an actual monopoly. Yeah. That is I, I really nuts. wonder, like... There, there, there's laws around effective monopoly, right? I mean, I don't think anyone's going to protect gamers, right? Like the thing is that a lot of the a lot of anti-monopoly laws are designed to protect people from being exploited, right? right. So when there's a monopoly on on food production, that's nope. really bad. Yeah. You know, when yeah. when there's when there's monopolistic behavior in financial services, that's really, really, really bad. Or insurance, you know, things that people need. I don't think you're going to get a consumer watchdog coming in and going, hey, th these entirely optional video gaming accessories, th mm, these are too expensive. It's not going to happen. And as much as that impacts us as people who are, you know, technology enthusiasts and gamers, um, I don't think even the most stalwart of gamers is going to make a, a straight-faced argument that it's somehow as important as food or shelter or yeah. water or yeah, transportation, yeah. right? Like it's... <sighs> I think it just kind of is what it is. Yeah. That makes sense. It's unfortunate, but it makes sense. That, I, 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 I'm still a little bit stuck on that intel deal i know right is that worth a video i mean like the cheapest be. bf6 pc and you include that bundle because it's just like so insane um i mean that's not a bad idea yeah because that that is one of probably the craziest gpu bundles i think i've ever seen literally ever not no i wouldn't uh, say ever back like uh gtx 460 had some had some bundles where it came with like like i think metro exodus or something like that um and that was like a very affordable gpu there have been times uh back when amd and nvidia were like really at each other's throats competing, legitimately actually competing, uh, where you'd buy a card and you'd get like three or four games with it and stuff. I remember that, yeah. That hasn't really been a thing for a very long time. I don't remember, the, not to dog on the games, but I don't remember them being like massive, extremely important multiplayer titles. Um. I mean, you know, Orange Box... Orange box came for free with Ooh. a GPU that I bought. So like, That's no, there's nuts. there's deals. There's def definitely How expensive was that GPU though? There's been deals. Um I don't know, 250, 300 bucks. Remember, back then that was like a pretty high-end card though. But yeah, that's fair. Still, yeah. um there there's definitely been there's been deals. But this is probably the best one that I can remember seeing in a while where there's an actually hotly anticipated actually AAA looking game. Um, that comes with a two hundred and sixty dollar GPU. That's that's pretty outstanding. Uh, Dan, do you want to actually nice. send that video idea to me? Can you just throw that in my inbox real quick, and then I'll, I'll follow it up next week. I don't know that we'd be able to execute on this in time. I wasn't have, listening. Um, basically, uh, cheapest Battlefield Six PC. Got it. Yeah. Thanks. Ah, it'd be great if we could get early access to the game, so we could actually validate that it runs really good. But I don't. Uh, do we have I contacts might be able to potentially? Figure that out. I okay. have one. Yeah, if, if you know someone, then that would go a long way because I, I, the last thing I would want to do is just go off the, you know, the recommended specs on the box because you, you know it's, it's not necessarily the best. And we would have kind of our own standards and our own thoughts on, you know, what we feel is a really playable PC. And we want to make sure that we get the CPU and especially memory. A uh, lot of discourse on sort of how much memory is enough for gaming these days. You know, some people are saying 16 gigs is still enough. I was talking to Ploof today because we were shooting a video at my house with the world's biggest TV. Uh, we got Hisense's new 116 inch. Oh my God, guys, don't miss this video. This thing's incredible. Anyway, uh, the point is uh, he was saying 32 gigs isn't enough for him anymore because he's a person like you, Luke, 
who's late for the lobby because he has two games running. Anyway, uh, so he'll <laughs> often have multiple games running, plus a bunch of Chrome tabs, plus his voice comms. And he's like, yeah, I'm like, I often run out of RAM and I'll get like warning messages uh, with 32 gigs. So I kind of need to go 64. So there's a wide range of what people consider to be enough RAM for gaming. And so we'd want to make sure that we are, um, you know, validating that before we recommend a, a minimum yeah. spec that realistically is very minimum and you're not going to be happy with, right? Yeah, I, I don't know that I can get this early access, but I know a really good person to ask, basically. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Maybe we'll, we'll chase it down next week. And I, I don't even know if we'd be able to execute it in time because this deal expires in like, by Monday, it will be, oh my God, where's my calendar? Just let the calendar behave like I expect it to. When was the end date? The yeah, by Monday, we will have, I think it was the 14th or something. We'll have like less than a week. So I, I don't know if we're going to get it Oof. done in time. Okay. Besides, Dang. now that we've flagged this deal on WAN show, they might all just sell out anyway. So it might be too late. <laughs> I mean, I can't imagine that Intel has literally 0% market share. They didn't even show up on the, the 90... It said NVIDIA had 94%. This is from Tom's Hardware. NVIDIA had 94%. AMD had 6%. And Intel literally didn't even show up. So I got to imagine that Newegg is not stocking that many ASRock Challenger Arc B580s. What, what are they, the 20 in stock? 30? I don't know. Can't be that many. Mm-hmm.